Ladies and gentlemen, ladies, how are you all doing today? I'm doing pretty fucking fantastic. Thank you for asking. I realize my hair is an absolute disaster, but it looks pretty fucking sexy like this, so I don't care. I do need to get a haircut badly, though. Anyways, as you can tell by the title, this is gonna be about the live streaming thing. I believe we talked about it yesterday. I went live on YouTube, and everyone was, like, confused. Like, what the fuck? Why is he on YouTube? But I hope that everybody who actually does watch my live streams, whether on YouTube or on Twitch, is watching this video. I'm gonna try to keep this as short and sweet and simple as possible, but also try to explain everything. So before we get into the new shit, just wanna explain a little bit of what happened and why I actually switched over to Twitch. So if you didn't know, the reason why I made the full transition over to Twitch streaming is because I got a bullshit community guideline strike. One of my watching porn on VR videos got like taken down because people flagged it or some shit. And then when you get your first strike, you lose the ability to live stream. So I just couldn't live stream on YouTube at all. So I was pretty much forced to stream on Twitch for those three months because it takes three months for a strike to get off. And that strike came off on September 9th, September 19th, one of those two. It was either yesterday or a week ago. And I've said multiple, multiple times times that I fucking hate Twitch. I love YouTube. Just streaming on YouTube was just an all-around better experience for me anyway. I don't know. I just feel more comfortable. I feel more like I'm at home and I don't know. I just feel less restricted because there's certain words that you can say on YouTube that you can't say on Twitch, which is fucking stupid. I can't even take my shirt off and show my nipples on Twitch, all right? That was like my whole thing on YouTube. My whole joke that I'm just a male fucking stripper. I'm a cam guy. I couldn't do that shit on Twitch. I mean, I did it sometime because I just... Fuck it. But anyways, we're getting off topic. I said I want to make this quick. So that's the whole backstory. And basically, my strike is off. And the plan was to stay on Twitch because I got, like, the sub button. I'm the affiliate. And I got all that shit. The custom emotes. All that bullshit. But yesterday, YouTube rolled out. They had this already. But they rolled out some extra shit for it. Pretty much copying what Twitch is. So Twitch, you do the $5 a month subscriber thing. You get like a custom subscriber badge by your name and chat. You're not affected by slow chat. You're not affected by like, I don't know, you can do in sub only chat, shit like that. And you also get custom emails, but I'm only an affiliate. So the way that works is you get one email for the $5 a month. You get two emails for the $10 a month and you get three emails for $25 a month. And I personally think that's fucking retarded. So YouTube came out with this thing that's pretty much exactly the same. Oh, and on Twitch affiliates, I can't get the subscriber badge. I need to be partnered with it. With YouTube, I'm, I already have this shit set up. I already have the sponsor. It's called sponsorship or sponsoring or some shit. And then plus super chat. I have that. And that's like Twitch's bit system. So pretty much I'm going to be moving over to YouTube because it's giving me these exact same shit. Plus it's cheaper for you guys and I get more money as well. I know it's a fucking win-win and I get to stream on YouTube where I actually enjoy streaming. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy Twitch. Twitch was fun, but like YouTube is just so much better. So I'm going to explain it briefly, but I'll also put the article in the description if you guys want to, you know, like read up. Up on it yourselves on this new shit or just in case you think I'm bullshitting and you want to read it for yourself But pretty much YouTube has this thing. It's called sponsorship It's the same thing as subscribing, but it's just strictly 4.99 US a month And it actually differs based on where you live but like Canada the States and I think the UK are all just like 4.99 It's all like to say and that's like where most of my viewer base is in this article You'll be able to see what the price would be based on where you live But it's just strict five dollars a month and that's it. There's no ten dollars. There's no twenty five dollars There's no fucking hundred dollars It's just five dollars for everything and you get everything and I actually get a subscriber badge that you guys can put on. I can upload it right now. And also custom emotes. And the thing is, let's say I have one custom emote, you get it for $5 a month. Let's say I have 25 custom emotes, you get them all for $5 a month. It's not like you pay more, you get more. You pay one and you get everything. And it's awesome because it's cheaper for you. And the more money for me is Twitch took 50%, YouTube takes 30%. So instead of me getting 50%, I get 70%. And the reason why I'm just explaining all this to you guys is because I always do this shit. I always just want to run it by you guys. Everything I want to do, everything that I'm thinking of, I just, I gotta run it by you guys. I just love being 100% or let's say 95% transparent because personal shit, yeah, fuck that. That's not gonna go on the internet. But pretty much the point of this thing is, is I'm fully coming back to live streaming on YouTube and I'm excited. So you'll still be able to donate through Streamlabs. I'll still have the pop-ups and everything, but plus there'll be super chat. So if you don't like, if you're not comfortable with Streamlabs, you can just donate right from YouTube, right from Google. Plus the sponsorship thing is right from YouTube and Google as well. And the part I'm even more excited about is that as I'm coming back to YouTube, I'm gonna do a complete rehaul on all the like donation and follower and subscriber pop-ups and all that shit I've been meaning to do this for a really really long time. And I'm gonna be doing that shit I think the plan is I'm gonna be streaming on YouTube before I actually do that But just one day it's just all gonna be changed I'm just gonna put it all in at once. I think I don't know or maybe I just spend one night fucking doing it Who knows? And I might still do one or two more streams on Twitch just to let the people know on Twitch Even though I'm pretty sure everyone who's on Twitch came from YouTube just just in case just to let them know that I'm fully moving over to YouTube and as long as YouTube stays 
always this way because this is for gaming channels only. I forgot to mention that. This sponsorship thing and all that is just for gaming channels only. And you all know that gaming channels took a big hit and are still taking big hits in YouTube for making money and shit. So this is like perfect. And I also get more viewers over on the YouTube streams, obviously. So it's just a win, 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 win. Wins everywhere. There's no fucking L's. So I hope this was quick. I hope it was easy to understand. Like I said, if you want to read more about it, the link will be in the description to the article, if I remember. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Let me know if you approve, disapprove. You like YouTube streaming. You like Twitch streaming better. I mean, not that it matters. I just want to know. <laughs> let me know if you're excited or let me know if you want me to go fuck myself. And uh, yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you tomorrow with another video. Adios.